Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, let's see uh, the topology that uh, we will be using uh, in this uh, series uh, for Versa ST Win. So uh, on the left hand side, you can see uh, we have the uh, head end devices wherein uh, we'll be using uh, the Versa director and the Versa controller here. And here in the middle, you can see we have the Versa analytic. On the right hand side, you can see we have one hub site or you can say this is our main uh, data center. Here we'll be using our uh, two devices for redundancy. And uh, here we are using our uh, lens switch, which will be our layer three device and will perform some kind of routing, let's say OSPF with the Versa boxes. We are also using VRRP for the uh, gateway redundancy from LAN perspective. We'll be using uh, the underlay as MPLS here and internet, okay? Which will be uh, connecting to all of the ST1 infrastructure in the series. And in the downside, you can see we have three branches. We'll be having branch one, branch two, and branch three. So all these branches will be connected to the head end devices via MPL, either via MPLS or via internet or both. So we'll explore uh, everything uh, using this particular topology. Now let's uh, move to our first topic. So first of all, let's uh, go through uh, some basic advantages uh, that ST1 is having. So the very first one is the centralized management. So in the ST1 solution, uh, we have the centralized management. All the devices of our network will be managed from a single interface or from the Versa director. In legacy, we uh, need to manage the devices individually, right? That is very uh, time consuming. Now from the Versa director, we can manage all of our ST1 network. The second uh, benefit is that now we have the application awareness, okay? So our devices are application aware and we can take the traffic decisions uh, based upon the applications now. The third one is the automatic traffic switchover. So automatic traffic switchover is, uh, you know, it's based upon the quality of our WAN links. So we can set up uh, automatic switchover of traffic without any uh, manual uh, intervention during the link performance issues. So we'll see uh, all these uh, automatic traffic switchover and everything uh, during our practicals. So right now we are just uh, seeing uh, a high level overview of the benefits that ST1 is having uh, upon the legacy network. So the fourth one is uh, the uh, easy uh, deployment. So the uh, deployment of devices is quite simple. So we'll explore this uh, during our practicals also. So uh, the deployment of uh, the ST1 Versa devices, be it uh, the controller or the head end devices or uh, the onboarding of our edge devices is quite simple. The next one is the uh, reusable uh, templates. So one of the uh, best benefit of software uh, defined technologies uh, is the templates. So be it ST van or uh, Cisco ACI. So the templates uh, reduce a lot of manual efforts and errors. So we can create common templates for similar kind of devices and uh, no separate configuration is required for each device. So if let's say we have a lot of devices which needs the similar uh, configuration, so we can create one single template, one single common template, and all those devices will be using that template. And we do not need to configure the devices individually. 
So we'll see uh, how we can configure these templates and how useful they are during our uh, next videos. Now, uh, moving to the next one, a data security using the IPsec tunnels between the devices. So between our devices, uh, there will be IPsec tunnels. Hence, uh, we'll be having the data security. Okay, so all of our devices, be it uh, the controller or our edge devices, hub devices, they all will be connected via the IPsec tunnel. So we do not uh, worry about the security of our data. It's fully secured. Next one is the uh, the firewall is also integrated within the same box. So no need to purchase a separate firewall like our legacy devices. As you said, you know, in a single box, we have everything. Uh, the next benefit is that these devices are these devices also support the multi tenancy. It means that multiple customers traffic can travel through the single box or the same box without mixing of their data. So we can achieve true uh, multi tenancy for both the management and the control plane traffic for separate customers. OK, so this this is one of the best uh, benefit that uh, Versa SD1 is having. So the next one is that uh, we have a powerful tool uh, called, called analytics into the Versa SD1, which is used for you know monitoring, reporting, and capturing all the logs and data from all of our SD1 devices. So we'll explore analytics uh, uh, properly when I will discuss about the hidden devices and during our uh, uh, most of the topics will be uh, going through the tabs of analytics and see how it is uh, capturing the device and how we can generate different reports. Next one is that for the troubleshooting purpose, uh, we have a handy TCP dump option. So we can capture any of the interface and you know can analyze what's going on. So it's a handy tool to use and which is very powerful also. And next one is that ISP is no more required okay to manage your edge devices so customer is having the full access uh, to the device if you remember that in legacy we used to open tickets with the isps even for small purpose like addition of new new routes or something if you have some routes in your uh, lan and uh, if the isp device which is at the edge of your network it is having the static routes towards lan then you need to open a ticket with the isp so that you know they can uh, uh, put this uh, new static route and then they can advertise it to the van side, right? But now we have the full, the customer has the full control to the edge devices, okay? The ISPs are there just for the underlay connectivity. It means that you have your edge devices or whatever the devices you are using in SD van, they will just provide a point to point connectivity between your devices, which is called the underlay connectivity. That's, that is why we uh, call it the underlay, because we just want the ISP to make our sd wan devices reachable, that's it. Or that underlay will be uh, running our virtual tunnels and then uh, we can uh, run the routing protocols uh, over that. So uh, I the ISPs will be used for underlay only. So the ISP will only uh, provide connectivity, as I said, between our devices. So uh, the information and data we are going to share using those tunnels only. So we do not need any uh, ISP to manage some uh, edge devices or something or do some kind of routing for us, no. So to ISP will pay for the link only. So will be having our sd wan uh, device. They will terminate their link and will pay for that. That's it. Uh, the next one is that with, between the edge devices or sites, uh, MPBGP will be running because the MPBGP, uh, when we are using the MPBGP, we can send some Versa sd wan related information as well, right? To achieve our uh, goals. And uh, the other benefit uh, that we see with the Versa SD-WAN solution or with the software-defined WAN solution, 
is that our complex configurations like MPBGP or VXLAN, IPsec tunnel creations or the traffic steering policies or next generation firewalling, uh, these are all automated. We do not uh, need to configure these features manually. So everything is automated. That's the beauty of uh, SD-WAN. Uh, there are uh, different vendors in the market uh, for SD-WAN solution. Uh, like Cisco, they have uh, Viptela, Versa Networks. We have Silverpeak for HP, VMware for uh, VeloCloud. We have Palo Alto Networks for CloudGenix. So there are a lot of vendors uh, for SD-WAN and uh, new vendors are also evolving. Uh, but in this particular series, we are going to discuss about Versa SD-WAN solution. So in Versa SD-WAN uh, solution, we have uh, main three components, which are called the head-end devices. The first one is the Versa director. Second one is the uh, controller. And edge devices, they all uh, will be running on the Flex VNF. We'll discuss about this in uh, in a while. And the third one is the Versa Analytics, which we'll be using for the uh, logs, collection, capturing of our uh, different information from the uh, SD-WAN devices. And, and uh, we are going to generate uh, different reports uh, with the help of Versa Analytics. So all these uh, head-end uh, devices, they are running the on the Versa OS, which is a kind of modified uh, Linux kernel. And uh, we can uh, run these on the bare metal server or uh, as a virtual machine, okay? And we can deploy it, uh, these head-end devices uh, maybe in our uh, data center, which is the on-premises on solution, or maybe it can be deployed on the cloud also. So there is a lot of uh, flexibility. So let's uh, uh, look at the head-end devices and uh, what's their main use. So the first of all is the Versa Director. So Versa Director uh, provides a user interface, right? So this is the location where we are going to log in and do most of our stuff, right? Doing the configuration, troubleshooting, and everything will be handled from this particular interface. Also with the Versa Director, we are doing, uh, we'll be doing the configuration of templates or if we have our new devices in the network, so we'll uh, onboard those devices using the Versa Director. Through the user-defined templates, uh, or we can have common uh, parameters and services that can be provisioned and maintained across the sd wan environment. So in sd wan environment, let's say we have a lot of uh, devices and they share the common parameters. So based upon those uh, common parameters, we are going to create different uh, templates and those will be deployed across those uh, devices. Uh, next one is the uh, Versa controller. Director is also going to uh, onboard our controller also via the out of band management interface. So uh, the controller uh, is a H, so all of our edge devices uh, establish the management and control channels to the Versa controller, okay, to perform the onboarding operation. And uh, to manage the connectivity to remote site, we'll be using the Versa controller. So it is a centralized route reflector for the route redistribution. So each of your devices in your uh, sd wan network so all your edge devices they are going to form the bgp uh, peering with controller only so i hope you are familiar with the route reflector uh, concept of bgp so all the devices they do not uh, form any uh, bgp neighborship with each other but rather they form the uh, neighborship with the controller and controller is responsible to redistribute or to share all the routes between these uh, clients or the devices. Then we have the uh, Versa Analytics. So Versa Analytics uh, provides a user-friendly interface to view the, we can uh, view the log files, we can track different events and performances. Also, uh, we can generate uh, different reports based upon let's say bandwidth or latency or application usage. So, there is a lot of stuff that we can do with the Versa Analytics. It's very, very powerful. Also, uh, it has the capability to uh, forward the log to a, a third party 
log management system if you have some kind of third party tool that you want to fetch a log on so verse analytics it has uh, the ability that it can send all the logs to that particular third party uh, management system uh, so reporting i already discussed that uh, we can generate different uh, reports based upon our requirement now let's uh, discuss about the flex vnf so as i uh, I mentioned earlier also that controller and the edge devices they will be having the flex vnf so uh, versa operating system is a modified li uh, linux kernel it uh, this we already discussed it is based upon the ubuntu uh, linux although it is based upon uh, ubuntu but you know uh, it has been highly modified by the versa network because they want this uh, to work according to their need right so that we can perform all the uh, versa sd when uh, sd when uh, versa sd when uh, network related uh, stuff using this uh, ubuntu linux kernel so it is highly modified and uh, all our edge devices and our controller they'll be using the flex vnf its feature that is fully virtualized and uh, it can perform layer 2 to layer 7 functions so will be having the same image for routing purpose or we if we'll be doing cgnet security quality of service and all the controller and branches they'll be having the same image okay so this was uh, some high level overview of uh, the versa steven solution and also some uh, advantages of the software defined networking wan solution in our next section, we'll start with the practical and uh, we'll see how we can deploy the head-end devices. So see you in the next section. Thanks for watching.